So I just seen on Fox News that the third party candidate himself, RFK Jr., has got worms. And I ain't talking about the kind of worms that make you scoot your ass across the carpet neither. Christy Nome, a.k.a. Governor Puppy Killer, knows what I'm talking about. Well, she would had Governor Puppy Killer not killed her puppy, but I digest. I'm not talking about an earworm where you hear a song and now it's stuck in your head all day. Manomina. Manomina. I'm talking... Ugh. I'm talking about... Brain-eating worms, which is about the 13th craziest thing to ever happen to a Kennedy. He said he's got worms in his brain, like he's got a goddamn bottle of tequila up there all of a sudden. And then worms cause cognitive decline. Well, I see what this is. This is just a political stunt to be like Joe Brandon. He said, Joe Brandon's got some cognitive decline. I want me some cognitive decline because I can't think too good. Because RFK knows he's not old enough to, to be president. Hell, he's young. He's only 70. He's got to come up with something. He said, if you can't beat him, join him. Well, curb your enthusiasm, Robert. Because you ain't winning no election anyway. Menomino. Might I suggest some ivermectin for them worms, Robert? I know I'm choiring to the preacher over here, but it works wonders. Ivermectin, that's like Frank's Red Hot. Because I put that shit on everything. Hurt, back. Itchy sack, if your wife's on her shark week, if you, you or a loved one have been injured in an accident, if you got bad credit, no credit, nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, and of course, brain worms. Rub some mectin on it, Robert. You'll be back to doing shirtless push-ups and jeans in no time. So today I'm raising my emotional support beer to them poor brain worms. I'm sorry you had to go through that. <laughs> Manomino. Manomino.